Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Jordan Williams. Good afternoon, Central Oregon. Happy Wednesday to you as well. We're about halfway through the first official week of summer and temperatures are just getting warmer. First, we're going to start off with our watches and warning maps. On Monday, we saw a fire weather warning that was only supposed to last about 10 hours, but it got extended until tonight at 11 o'clock and a little bit of a new development. Uh, west of the Cascades, an excessive heat watch for cities like Salem and Eugene. And coming up, Central Oregon will also be under an excessive heat watch as well. So most of Central Oregon is under that fire weather warning, except for Sisters. And we're also, you can see just above Jefferson County, some chances for thunderstorms in the region. And if the last couple of days were any indication of those chances actually coming to fruition, we could an end up seeing those thunderstorms, some lightning, some thunder, and also about a 20% chance for some Hours. Today's high temperatures across the state could see these tick up a couple bit more degrees. 94 for Redmond, 81 for Portland, 94 for Medford. No triple digits. That's some good news. Some bad news, though. Temperatures. Take a look at these. This is what I was talking about when I said that excessive heat watch. 79 at the bottom of the graphic is usually the temperatures we see around this time in late June. But starting Friday afternoon, we will be under an excessive heat watch. And as Lee mentioned earlier, could be setting some some record setting temperatures. These numbers are from the Roberts Field Almanac and in 2017 our June high was 102 degrees. So if we're going based off these numbers Sunday and Monday would be tied and new records all time high. Just in case you were wondering August 1972 108 degrees. So hopefully won't be setting that record anytime soon. Current conditions in the region 94 for Warm Springs. 93 for Bend, the rest of Central Oregon in those mid to upper 80s, 88 for Prineville. Our chances for thunderstorms happening tonight and then the rest of the week we should be fairly clear. But if we look at our future track, we're not seeing too much action. So potentially may not be seeing those chances for thunderstorms actually happening tonight. And then for the rest of the week as we start to see those temperatures tick up, we're going to start to see some mostly, mostly clear skies uh, on the high desert in the central Oregon area. Could see a little bit of cloud coverage rolling in on Friday, Friday afternoon, but not expecting any chances for any more thunderstorms or rain. Here's your forecast lows for tonight. 58 for Warm Springs. That's the high number along with Bend 55 for Madras. Low 50s for the rest of central Oregon, Lapine and Sun River, about 10 degrees above average than what we usually see. For our allergy forecast, this is what we've been seeing the last couple of days. Nothing's changing. Pollen count for trees is mild. Grass is high. Weeds and mold, nothing of note there. The next couple of days, not going to be ridiculously hot. Still about 10 10, 11, 12 degrees above average. And then once we get to the weekend on Saturday, 98 degrees. And the National Weather Service is saying make sure you're not getting too much sun exposure because the ex excessive heat could, could cause a potential increase in heat related illnesses. And that's when we get to Sunday, Monday, very, very hot as I mentioned, could be setting some new records. 102 for Sunday, 103 for Monday, 99 for Tuesday, and Wednesday is 100 degrees. So next week, make sure you're staying out of the sun and using that sunscreen. We're back after this.